What is going on killers? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Killer Kurt and I'm back out here working on the 88. I finally got the parts in that I've been waiting on. Um, every, you know, this, this nonsense has got the, uh, the postal service all screwed up or whatever. Um, I got like seven notifications. Uh, you know, I've ordered it from LMR. I believe they're in like Waco. Um, the package arrived at like Fort Worth and then it had to get shipped elsewhere. It was like a whole list of of these uh, out of our out of our control type notifications. But uh, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip you around and show you what I've been waiting on. Um, I've been waiting on these bushings. Um, they seem to be hard to come by nowadays, but uh, that, I guess that's to be understanding that they, you know, I went to some of the local parts stores and they didn't have them either, but this particular kit came from Ford and, you know, I already installed that one. Here's the other one. I'm going to show you how to install that in a minute. Comes with, it's kind of weird that it comes with a bottle of friction modifier and also comes with two new C-clips, which we can use. So, pretty happy about that. I also ordered this, uh, this is only a part of it. There's the other part to it, the big cup. But this is the uh, Maximum Motor Store, uh, Maximum, God bless, Maximum Motorsports Bushing Installer and um, Remover. So you can use it for either one. Uh, it's pretty simple design um, for like, I think it was like 37, let's just say 40 bucks. Not a bad investment because it seems like I'm uh, becoming the local 8.8 guy. So uh, let me get you set up on the tripod and I'm going to show you how to install the, uh, the other bushing. My neighbor's dog is going fucking nuts. All right, so you take your bushing and you get some sort of a lubricant. I use this grease for everything. Anti-oxidation grease. Grab it in a second. Put a little bit in there and get it in there as far as you can by hand. All right, now this kit comes with like six washers, that big cup that was over there on the floor, this little cup, this, uh, big flat piece and this little flat piece and th uh, three washers go on each end so you're gonna have to kind of do this in two stages um, take this. I'm gonna take this little one off real quick sit there I'm gonna start with that big one you're gonna slide that through. You take your cup, put it on the back side. All right, after that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, take a, um, an 11 sixteenths and a 5 eighths, the, uh, the bolt is the 5 8 and the nut is the uh, 11 16 Alright, you'll get to a certain point where this will eventually bottom out and you can't tighten it up anymore. So you're going to have to take it all the way back off and then put this little spacer here. So we'll go the rest of it. So you got the bolt with the wa three washers. And you put the little flat on the big one. And then you put it back on there. And basically go back to what you was doing. It's only going to go a little bit further. There's a... Uh,
there's not much travel left that it you know not, not much room left it has to travel Alright, them new bushings are installed. I'm gonna get this rear installed in this car. It's been long enough. Um, once I get the rear installed, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna install the the um, the seals and the the seals and axle bearings, and then of course after I put the axles in, I go I'm gonna put the C clips in, and then everything I'm fill it up with fluid, and it should be done. Everything should be great. 410's installed, everything is brand new. Look how freaking nice this rear turned out. Very proud of how how well this thing turned out. So um yeah, that's uh that's pretty much all I got for this video. Uh, I'm gonna continue right on into the next video, which is gonna be the rear install. Um I didn't want this video to be too long-winded because I still have to do the like I said, the axle bearings and seals. Um, I have to fill it with fluid. I have to put the C-clips in. I have to uh, install the new rear shocks, which are over there. You probably can't see them. They're in that toolbox sitting right there waiting. Um, put the... Uh, threw my rag on it. The lower control arms on. Uh, the new springs, which are sitting right there. And the new isolators. Like I said, the guys, this freaking car is going to be brand new whenever I'm done with it. And it, ha it needs to be done, like, now. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm tired of messing with it. It's, uh, it's getting to the point where, you know, things are getting busy. Um, work's picking up. Um, and, you know, hopefully if the tracks ever freaking open up, I can go racing. <laughs> 